Web hosting is a service that allows individuals, businesses, and organizations to make their website accessible on the Internet. When you create a website, the content of your site, such as HTML files, images, and videos, needs to be stored on a server. This server is always connected to the Internet, allowing anyone to access your website at any time. Let's look at the key components of web hosting. Or server. These are powerful computers that store and manage the websites. They are responsible for serving website content to users when requested. Storage space. Web hosting provides the space on a server where your website's files are stored. Internet connectivity. The servers are connected to a fast and reliable internet connection. This ensures that your website is accessible to users around the world at any time. Domain names. While not a part of web hosting per se, domain names are closely related. A domain name is the address people use to access your website. The web hosting server is where the content that the domain name points to is stored. Types of web hosting. There are several types of web hosting services, including shared hosting, virtual private server, VPS hosting, dedicated server hosting, and cloud hosting. The difference between these services mainly revolves around the amount of storage capacity, control, technical knowledge requirement, server speed, and reliability. Services and management. Web hosting providers often offer various services, including technical support, server management, backup services, email hosting, and tools for building and managing websites. In summary, web hosting is a fundamental aspect of the Internet that makes websites available to users globally. It involves storing website data on servers and providing the necessary technology and services to ensure that the website is accessible and runs smoothly. Can a beginner buy and use web hosting for their domain? Yes, a beginner can absolutely buy and use web hosting for their domain. In fact, the process has been significantly streamlined and made user-friendly to cater to individuals with varying levels of technical expertise, including beginners. Here's the steps on how a beginner can go about this. Step 1. Choose a domain name. The first step is to select and register a domain name, which is the address for your website. This can usually be done through the same service providers that offer web hosting or through separate domain registrars. Step 2. Select a web hosting provider. Research and choose a web hosting provider that suits your needs. For beginners, it's often recommended to start with shared hosting, as it's the most straightforward and cost-effective option. Look for providers who are known for good customer support, reliability, and user-friendly interfaces. Step 3. Purchase a web hosting plan. Once you've selected a provider, you can choose a hosting plan. Most providers offer a range of plans with different levels of resources, like web space, bandwidth, email accounts, etc. As a beginner, a basic plan is usually sufficient. Linking your domain with your web host. If you've purchased your domain and hosting from the same provider, they'll usually link them automatically. If they're from different providers, you'll need to point your domain to your web hosting service by updating the DNS settings in your domain registrar's control panel. This process is generally straightforward, and both providers will have guides on how to do this. Step 4. Set up your website. Many hosting services offer integrated website builders or one-click installations of content management systems, CMS, like WordPress. These tools allow you to design and build your website without needing advanced technical skills. Step 5. Create content and manage your website. Once your website is set up, you can start creating content, customizing designs, and adding functionality through plugins or additional coding as per your requirement. If you encounter any difficulties, most hosting providers offer customer support that can guide you through any part of the process. Additionally, there are numerous online resources, tutorials, and forums that can help beginners.
To summarize, buying and using web hosting as a beginner is quite feasible. The key is to start with a basic, user-friendly hosting plan and take advantage of the resources and support available to gradually build your skills and confidence in managing your web presence.